I made a wrong turn somewhere. He likes the southern hospitality here. That was a backcourt. It was not touched by Memphis State. 30-27. We talk about this being a fertile area. Look at that. Day and Elmer Martin and Clyde Fletcher. Now, you won't see Clyde. He's out with a bad knee, and Martin's got a sore knee, too. He hasn't played much in two years. Next season, Dwight Stewart and Corey Beck, one big guy and one very good point guard. Beck, the point guard. You can keep him home in Memphis. You can be competitive nationally. Yeah, you mentioned Day got away. Can you imagine this Memphis State team with Todd Day? Fans in this, these parts have. I know. Get in the zone and... and but you go inside, outside. They did. Ooh, I got away with that. And Douglas with the tip. Vaughn, I think, might have gotten away with that third foul. Douglas with 14 points in this game now. 30-29, one-point game. Look at them bang the boards. And Hardaway steers it ahead for Madlock. Get in the middle, get in the middle. Hardaway, the move! He's Man. got seven. Yeah, if Madlock had thrown that right in the middle, he'd have gotten it right back again for an easier play. But Hardaway did make the play anyway. Memphis State by one, the crowd going wild. And a steal by Hardaway, and then Morris Hanna reach out and stop him. He's gotten the crowd back in the game. Great anticipation by Hardaway, because what's happened is Arkansas is running a high-low post offense. Mem Memphis State has opted to not guard the guy by post. He's wide open. Guy did not guard the guy that post. So now Miller tries to get it out there, and look who comes from the weak side. He sees the play, gets the steal, and a good foul. Larry Finch wanted the old intentional foul, but did not get it. But there's game plans. You can see the game plans at Memphis State. He's going to play man to man, but what they're doing is doubling down on Oliver Miller and giving the uh, jump shot top of the key. On the other hand, Arkansas is going to play zone. One one was in there, and they go to the oh, guy in the middle. I don't know who can stop it. That's why they double down on the big goal with 295 pounds. When he gets to the NBA, he's going to lose a lot of that. He, how, how much will they have to lose to be effective? I, I just, I think he's going to lose about 30 pounds or so in the NBA. Well, Barkley did it. He is an athlete. He can shoot the three, too. I mean, he's Adrian, a good player. Uh, uh, Denton, a great player. Adrian, Adrian. He lost weight, too. They, you know, they do. I think that's they play so many more games. And... Nearly picked off. Look at Madlock with the save. And oh. the alley -oop and Billy Smith. Jimmy's elevator man. Again, they come back. You can't celebrate. Hardaway touched it last. It belongs to Arkansas with 4.05 left to go in the half and a one-point Memphis State lead. I mentioned it before, they do it so well. You score, and that man, Nolan Richardson, says, get it up the floor. And they do. Miller will go down low. You see him bang with Douglas. He's got 50 pounds on Anthony Douglas, and Douglas was 250. Now they're trying to post. Yeah, oh. They might have had it. It was a well-conceived play. They decided they would post Miller and look low. Didn't get it that time. Nolan Richardson laments the miscommunication, and Memphis State leads by one. This crowd standing. Three-point lead on after the outstanding pass. Shepard. No, and Hardaway with a rebound. Hey, Hardaway is everywhere. He's really something on the glass. Knocked away from Madlock by Day. I'm impressed, certainly, with his, his court vision, but what he's really picked up from early years, he really gets the board offensively and defensively. You know, with the 40 minutes of hell theme, you would think Memphis State would have trouble with turnovers. Arkansas with seven, Memphis State with two, and the Tigers have four off of those turnovers, four points. Look at the fight by Vaughn! If that isn't a confidence builder, Jim, I don't know what would be. Hey, two of the terrific young players in college basketball. Look at this kid. He just stays with it. Remember, he's a freshman, a true freshman, not a red shirt freshman. Stays with it, puts it up, gets fouled inside and outside. You got Hardaway on the perimeter. You got Vaughn inside. You got a lot of, about 20,000 happy Tiger fans. Minus 50. 50. Minus 50, they gave 50 that's 50 right. Tickets. I thought that was well, that's nice what, uh, 
That's what Arkansas will give Memphis State next year when they play this in mm. Fayetteville. Hey, Arkansas has got a new building going up too. Yeah. It's supposed to be there, what, 93, 94 season, I believe, or 92, 90, yeah, 93, 94. It's going to be the sixth largest on-campus facility. As Memphis State is now on a 13-2 run of their own in the last three minutes, 10 seconds. Old-fashioned three-point play go by inside. When in doubt, go inside. See the, the, the space, the top here, Wallace would take, gotta take that shot. And he's a good shooter, take it. Thank he you. heard you. Thank you. Another good move by Coach, because <laughs> Wallace is a good shooter. Before, Morris didn't want to take that shot. But now he puts Wallace, who can hit that shot. Shoots 48% from the field. Vaughn. Oh, yeah. He's got 11 in this half now, and Memphis State again by six. Right there. Take it again for me, pal. Oh, get it. No. He tried, though. Yeah, but he needs to get set. That was a little bit too quick. But a good shot. Madlock. No, he's been shut out in this game. If Memphis State had a perimeter game, they would be really... They made a beautiful a move. Difficult and... team to defend. Yeah. I mean, really, you can just see it. That lack of a pure perimeter shooter. There is a terrific perimeter shooter in the area, too, named Tony Delk. He had 70 in a high school game, but he's going to Kentucky. Give him a call. Oh, he's going to Kentucky. Yeah. Oh, Rick Petito. Yeah. He'll take some threes down there, won't he? Yeah. Oh. I guarantee it. Now, also, we mentioned earlier about how Coach Richardson would be happy. I said to be a bucket. The two, either way, that's fine. You go into the other guy's building, place is going nuts, Chili's doing backflip, the students have their own top ten poll of people to boo. This guy, Todd Day, is ranked number two. The coach, Nolan Richardson, number three. Bob Huggins is Cincinnati, Why is number that's one. That's amazing, number one. Oh, he's wild sometimes on the sideline with an excellent coach. Billy Smith. No, Miller right there. Oh, great pass. And your man. Oh, I take that oh, back. Look. I thought that was Lynn. Similar look. Similar look. I have a rematch. Has two. Not as much as Lynn on the hair. <laughs> Two-point game again. That's what Coach wants. It. Hardaway threaded the needle. And Douglas saved it from Memphis State. Hardaway, give it to him. Take it. Billy Smith, that's a three. Oh, yes. yes. That's what they needed. When Billy Smith hits a three, Memphis State's nine and two. Oh, you guys are all these stats. My <laughs> goodness gracious. A minute and a half to go in the first half. Inside, outside. Good move by Miller. He might have had his elbow hit. Nobody called it. Five-point game. See, Arkansas's gone back to man-to-man. Changing -to -man. teams. This is a big possession. Razorbacks would like to stop him and score and get him in that area which is very comfortable on the road. At this state's bench signaling, use up the clock. Oh, that was stripped from Billy Smith by Mayberry. He's the all-time oh, leader man. of steals, but then the bad pass. Oh, that's, oh, coach got to be upset. Had it right where they wanted it. Coach Finch certainly happy. But Nolan Richardson's got to feel that's a bad one. Eighth turnover for Arkansas and Memphis State, which averages 16 turnovers a game, really has kept it low. Big decision now. Defensive. With 47 seconds, you can allow them to take the last shot, knowing they're going to try. Right? What I always thought was good to do is go pressure them. Force them. They get a turnover because the most difficult thing is to hold the ball. Right? And on the other hand, if you have an opportunity, I think it's just go take it. You can beat the guy and score. Go ahead. There's a two-second uh, differential between game clock and shot clock. It's difficult to hold. It. Well, this guy, you see the Arkansas State? See, I, I like to go get the guy. They can do something. Memphis State took out Vaughn with the two fouls. Kelvin Allen in for him. And they're just going to clear up for Hardaway oh, on your man day. This is the matchup everybody wanted. This is the playground matchup. Hardaway and day. The Memphis guys. Here he goes. Billy Smith, oh, oh, he should get three shots. With five seconds left in the half, and Memphis State up by five. What a, and Day had won that battle of one-on-one -on -one defensively. He, did? He, he kept Hardaway from driving, and then a foul with five seconds. Hey, three shots. 
Okay, what you got to look for now, obviously, Memphis State, is you want to make these shots, certainly, but you don't want to give a cheap basket down the other end. You really should get up and, and pressure, make them throw the ball in front of them, not the long pass. Make the guy catch it in front of them. That's if you make the shots. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Chris Fowler with scores and highlights, including Wake Forest in North Carolina and Tennessee at Alabama. The Vols have been hot of late. Very important. Keep the ball in front of you as a defensive player if this one goes down. Oh, that's right. One more. He one was more. Firing. What a big turnaround. Let me go back to that pass out of bounds today. It would have been exactly where Arkansas wanted. They would have been within a bucket or two. Three in a row. Keep it. Don't let it go long. I told him not to. Mayberry got fouled by Ernest Smith with three seconds left. Oh, this thing's right. Yes, you're right, Larry. <laughs> Throw the program down. Get, I mean, keep the ball in front of you. I said that what you don't want is to give a cheap basket late. Might coach you too much here, Dave. No, you're on right the mic. I'm, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Mayberry. Terrific free throw shooter. I'm not even going to say it now with three seconds, which you're supposed to do. But if a long pass comes here and it's completed, that's it. I'm putting the chairs on the court. <laughs> It'll be the longest five seconds in the history of the game. Hardaway. Oh. <laughs> not that time. Oh. But a great first half for Larry Finch and his crew. 46 39, and the fans at the Tomb of Doom in Memphis. Absolutely loving this one. Let's check in now back in the Bristol, Connecticut with Chris Fowler. All right, David, Jim, thanks. Memphis State leads by 7, 46-39. Both teams really have had their runs. Memphis State to finish 17-4 to evaporate a six-point Arkansas lead. And, Jim, I guess both coaches really have made the adjustments that they've had to. You've got to do that, and both coaches need to get their players to shoot the basketball when it shows because they're wide open. Here, take a look right now. I tell this all the time, shoot it when it shows. All right, take a look how they're guarding Oliver Miller. The big O down low. They've got one, two, and three guys almost guarding mm. him. That means the guy at the high post in a high-low post offense is going to be open. In this case, we got Mr. Wallace is free. Doesn't want to shoot. Who can I pass it to? Finally, he has to shoot it. Well, you know what? You got to shoot it right away. Same thing against the zone for Memphis State. They've got to take the shot, and maybe that, that percentage would go up. But it's been a really close game as you look there. I'm uh, surprised at the, uh, I guess, a little bit of the rebounds and the turnovers. Memphis State only three. Yeah, that is a surprise. The field goal percentage we talked about so much. And Memphis State has held Arkansas under that 50. Now we'll see if Arkansas comes out now that the half's over and they go after him in more pressure. They start out man-to-man. -man. You're just waiting for the full court pressure to really be turned on. Here's Hardaway. Yes! A three. Jimmy's got 10 now. He had six rebounds and six assists in the first half. Absolutely a great play to start the half. I mean, a terrific set play by Larry Finch to get the jump shot for Hardaway. Oh. That's one of the problems with playing man to man. See the jumper right there? I tell you, that's Shoot it when it shows. Shoot it when it oh, shows. Man. Gotcha. And he'll have it all night long. And he can make that shot when he gets his feet set. So now we're going to have to see an adjustment made by Larry Finch. Eight point game. Douglas got so tired in the first half. Look at Miller dribble up court. Get rid of it, big guy. Mayberry made it look easy, and he only had five in the first half. He averages about 16 and a half. It's going to be a terrific one. I'm telling you right now, they're going to go after each other these next 18 minutes. The problem with going man-to-man -man is a guy named Penny Hardaway. Smith can't get by Day, but a nice pass, and Vaughn fouled by Oliver Miller. Ooh, look at the guys there. You didn't tell me that Douglas Smith and Vaughn were going to score as many points. I didn't know. Believe me, he only averages eight. Douglas doing a great job. And, and, and my elevator man... And Billy Smith, he hit the jump shot when it showed against the zone. He's an up and got, down kind of guy, but he came to play today. No question this, about that. And this kid I really like. This kid is going to be one of the better players in the country before he's done. He works hard, and I, I imagine he does. I mean, he is going to be a terrific player. If he doesn't work hard, his uncle is on him like crazy. Uncle Larry. You've got it. <laughs> I mean, he's got all the tools. 
Really, he's just going to get stronger. You know he's going to get stronger. The freshman played at White Creek High School last year. He was recruited by his uncle, Larry Finch. Yeah, I wish I had a, I wish I had a nephew. Could yeah. Play. <laughs> you get back into coaching? There it is. High low. See, they got to come out. Got to come out. And there it is again. And Wallace burns him again. That's two in a row for the senior from Cleveland, so Ohio. It's wide open. We're going to make the adjustment. That time, the adjustment was, all right, now what's going to happen now? Is they're going to come out and guard him. And now he has to pass the ball down to Oliver Miller because you can't guard Miller one on one. And that's that's the next thing that they have to read. Arkansas to be effective on that half court offense. Uh oh, not oh, don't give him that. Wide open three. Wasn't there and good hustle by Arkansas. Madlock. Oh, taken away by Shepard. Six point game. So they get set. They get set now. Take your time. They need someone. They need someone to high post. There's the front. Wallace, Again, Wallace has it. Yeah. He's a, you see, that's the one thing. I know he's a great shooter. The kid can really stick the standstill jumper. He scored six of the eight Arkansas points in the half, and suddenly it's a four-point game. He was a starter earlier in the year. In fact, started half these games. Go on. Taken right away by Shepard, but he, he shoveled it out of bounds. Good defense. Excellent defense. Hardaway hit that three, and this place erupted. Memphis State by, led by 10, but Arkansas is having their way. Right now, it's the reading of, of one simple play. Oh, nice. Oh, Mayberry did a terrific job. Wallace, who's been on fire. Mayberry, the three. No. And Vaughn has it stripped away. Day blocked by Vaughn and out of bounds off Arkansas. Oh, what offensive, a play. Offensive foul, I believe. I'm not sure. Did he call that? Let's see what the call is. Well, Richardson calling his team over. Wallace and Madlock yeah. almost got into it. It's an offensive, it's an offensive foul on Day. I took it to the ball. It looked like a clean block nonetheless. The offensive foul. It's the first on time Day in the game. Memphis State by four. Plenty of time left in the game. We're just underway in the second half. Glad to have you aboard on ESPN. Gone from way out. Miller beats everybody down. Oh, what a play. And Hardaway picks up his first foul in the game. Oh, it's some. Uh oh. Oh! Oh, the ref called the team on Miller. They were talking some stuff. They were talking some stuff after that basket. There's a taunting rule. Oh, watch this. You're going to see the pass, right? And now Miller scores. And there's the foul right there. And now after the basket, Miller takes a look. And he, he says something. And then Hardaway says something, pats him on the butt. And then Miller said something else in the team. Obviously, I couldn't quite read the lips from here. <laughs> I you wouldn't try I to guess. I don't, I don't like the call. I don't like the no. call at all. I mean, these kids all know each other well. From my perspective, you know, these two kids talking some stuff. Yeah. But it wasn't a physical they're going to push or shove. Maybe the ref feels 17 minutes. I better catch it right now. Probably his thoughts, but. So Matlock will go to the free throw line. He's the best. Memphis State free throw shooter, and he's finally on the scoreboard. Fifty-two fifty. Memphis State will get the ball too. Seventeen oh four left to play. Yeah, that was wild. One thing I liked about both players, Hardaway and Miller, have great expressions on their faces, don't they? I mean. You, you knew there was going to be some, some junk being uh, spoken sure. in this game. Well, I think you summed that up best when you said the playground uh, yeah, and game I, in front of an audience. It certainly didn't appear to anybody that there was going to be any repercussions for that. I didn't like no. that. I, yeah. yeah. Unless he yelled at the ref. Now, wait a second. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know that he did. It looked nice as if he had said something to Hardaway. Maybe, maybe it's it to the ref. Yeah. I don't know why he would say to the ref because he got either. fouled. Certainly has awakened everyone here. If they weren't already really emotional. In the meantime.
time as we sort all this out. Billy Smith goes to the line. He'll shoot two after the foul. Nolan Richardson thought it was a clean strip. It wasn't that. And now Billy Smith with 13. What, what I'd really like to see Arkansas do this time down, really, is to set up that high-low, get set, and see how they handle Wallace. And if they come out on Wallace, I think you're going to get it to Miller very easily for a basket. Smith hits them both. He's remarkable from the line today. Seven for seven. He's a 59% free throw shooter, and his team back up by four. That kind of day. Oop, took the wrong guy out. Todd Day says, I'm not coming out. I guess that's the kind of day you need, really, if you're going to beat a top 10 team. Memphis State with one big victory like that here over Missouri earlier this year. Wide open. Wouldn't you? Oh, everybody going for the boards. And I think the foul on Vaughn over the back, and that's number three on the freshman. Said foul trouble would play a role in this game. See, now, when Oliver Miller was younger, he was always getting in foul trouble. Now he plays without fouling, a veteran player. And Vaughn, on the other hand, he tends to get himself in foul trouble. Wallace will go to the line. Great catch, too. Yeah, great contribution he's made today from off the bench. Just in that one spot. Jim, you talked uh, earlier about how important for postseason play Memphis State's win today. There's where they stand in the new great Midwest conference. And, you know, there is no automatic bid for the, any of those teams. And you've got Cincinnati. And DePaul has already beaten Memphis State twice. So it's hard to get a bid over a team that's, you know, spanked you a couple of times. So this is a big non-conference game. Three-point game. Wallace missed that second one. Douglas playing in this half. That was blocked from behind. Beautiful. What a pass by Mayberry. And Hawkins. Uh-uh. Douglas with the rebound. Oh, and Hardaway is creamed by Wallace. Let me tell you what made that play. Penny Hardaway, again, a lot of players, when the pass is coming, they, especially when they want to go to the basket, go away from it. You notice that time he came to it. Yep. And that's what caused the foul. So often you see a guy going the other direction. He's drifting. Wallace, the second foul on him in the game. Smith and Day, well, they played together in the Memphis State Fieldhouse this summer practicing. Vaughn got it inside. Miller blocked it. Miller was 60 blocks this year, the number one shot blocker for Arkansas. They gotta, we'll be see why. gotta be impressed with Vaughn staying with the basketball. Uh, it missed the second time, once in the first half, and once now he's taken a shot, missed it, and stayed with it. As Wallace picks up number three, and they need him, Arkansas does, for that jump shot at the top of the key in their high-low offense. Fifth team foul now for Arkansas and Memphis State with just two. Three times now, they've gone down the court, Arkansas, after being very successful in their half-court offense, and have not really set up. You know, and I know that as you get caught up in his running game, somebody has to got to take it. Point guard, Lee Mayberry, Todd, the veteran, set, set up your offense. Get that same shot, and also, especially when the other team's in a little foul trouble. In a game like this, when you're so jacked up, sometimes it's tough to get him to settle down and play that setup. The freshman hits him up. Memphis State's been remarkable from the line, and they lead by five. GMC Truck built America's first gasoline-powered truck and went on to make trucks our only business. Trucks that some say worked a little harder, lasted a little longer. And that's still true today. In a truck that gives you the most standard payload, and the strongest resale of any full-size pickup. The Sierra from GMC Truck. More proof of the strength of experience. GMC Truck is the official truck of Super Bowl 26. So you claim you were getting your oil changed at your GM dealership. Is that correct? That's correct. And how long did this take? An hour, hour and a half. Really? And isn't it true that the GM dealership in question is a Mr. Goodwrench Quick Lube Plus dealer? And isn't it also true that they guarantee a complete GM oil change, lube, and 10-point maintenance check in 29 minutes, or the next one is free. Your GM dealer is serious about putting service back in the service department, so try Mr. Goodwrench Quick Lube Plus for a change.
Pizza Hut for the new six cheese pizza with six delicious cheeses. Get one for $7.99 and a second for four bucks more. And don't forget to add your favorite toppings. Call now. Remember when a young Larry Finch helped take Memphis State to the 1973 Final Four in St. Louis. Finch scored 21 in the semifinal game against Providence. And then he took on Bill Walton and the UCLA Bruins in the championship. Finch scored 29, but the Tigers fell short. The Bruins took the title 87-66. What a great performance by Finch, but Bill Walton may be the greatest performance in a championship game in history. <laughs> yeah, he's 21 and a 22, but Larry Finch has put on... He looks good, though. It's distinguished, but he has put on a little bit. He's put on some weight, but <laughs> truthfully, he's lost it this year. He's lost about 20 pounds. Midbury skates to the middle where Wallace stands. Oh, a great pass. And a block by Hardaway, but he got him. But, but that's what you're going to get, man. Once you make the adjustment to stop Roosevelt Wallace, you're going to be able to get the ball to Oliver Miller. See, his penetration, a roll, and there he is. That's what you got to do. You have to adjust to what the defense does. And Arkansas has made some very nice adjustments, shooting 63% in the second. Oh, Memphis State shooting only 17%, yet the lead, and they've been so terrific from the line. That's it. You asked, so how can that be? And it's because they're almost perfect, aren't they, from the line? Missed maybe one? Uh, Madlock's second technical shot missed, and that was it. Oliver Miller stands a little bit to the right, and he takes his free throws. He'd like to stand straight on. The big O with 12 in the game now, and a three-point lead for Memphis State. Plenty of time, 15 and a half to go in the contest. Arkansas has picked up the defensive pressure, man-to-man, -man, denying the return pass. Getting to passing lanes. Oh, let the, we let him step in, though, that time. Calvin Allen on the hook. That good defense by Big O. He let the, they call it the duck in, man. The guy stepped right into the lane. Five-point game again. Long shot day. No, not there this time. And Douglas and Miller battle. It goes out of bounds off of Anthony Douglas. Larry Finch looks like he's holding his breath and biting on that program. He's nervous. No, look well, at Hawkins kept it alive. And well, he missed the acrobatic play. Kelvin Allen comes away with the ball. Hardaway, he'll take the three. In and out, and Day with the rebound for Arkansas. Ooh, oh, they just bumped each other. Day and Hardaway. Oh, off the foot of Day, Billy Smith. Could be showtime. He tried. Day got him, and there's the sportsman like play by Todd Day comes over and said, you okay? You know, Billy Whiskey could have gotten his feet, you know, the steps proper, so he could have gone up for the dunk. <laughs> Hawkins takes the seat on the bench. In comes Shepard. Day will get a breather, too. Billy Smith. Billy Smith, seven for seven from the line in the game, and he continues to stroke it. Six-point lead for Memphis State. Their biggest has been seven. Arkansas's biggest lead was six in the game. That was midway through the first half. Oh. You jinxed him? Yep. And the trap now by Memphis State. That's how Tennessee beat Arkansas the other night. Now that was a shot that Wallace took wasn't square, Jimmy. Now what happened was the adjustment was they came out to guard Wallace, which forced him to put it on the floor. Not as good a shooter off the dribble, but really what Arkansas needs to do when you see that is create the triangle and get the ball to Miller. Once the guy's coming out high, that means Miller's low. Look enough to do that the next few times down the court. Adlock, as low as he can to the floor as Mayberry tries to pick his pocket. They set it up for Hardaway, and Penny hit it! A three! Nine-point game now. 
His Miller's going to be wide open. Allen comes in to bang him. Oh, he got fouled. Nice ball. Good offensive rebound. The Miller's going to be home. free. Nice job to uh, last time down there in the same play. Memphis State did that they ran to open the game, which is a screen on the baseline. And, and Hardaway comes off it. The stick stack. 